And now a very exciting match up here with the 157, or sorry, number 149 weight class, number one, Frank Molinaro for the Nittany Lions. And now Brandon Braska is actually sending out Skylar Galloway from Omaha to face off against Molinaro. Tough matchup for him. He's a redshirt freshman going off against the number one ranked Molinaro. He's a senior. Molinaro, three time All American. He is in the coveted 100 win club. He actually has 109 career wins already. 21 and 0 already this season in matchups, 10 and 0 in duels. You can see this. Look at these guys. Very two strong physical athletes going at it. Wow, Molinaro, very quick there. Well, that's what Molinaro, not only strong, but speed as he gets the two points. Gets a takedown there, 2 0 Molinaro over Galloway. <laughs> you look look at his wins so far, aside from a 16-10 win over uh, Dylan Ness from Minnesota, the number five ranked player way back in November. He has mostly shutouts. The most points he's given up other than that 16-10 win is just three points a few times throughout the season. So Molinaro just not only winning, but dominating his matchups so far this season. And there's a reason why he's the number one rated wrestler. <laughs> he's very quick, he's very strong, and he knows what he's doing. Molinaro, 21 and zero on the year. Another great product of Sanderson's system here at Penn State. With his 139 to go here in this first period. Two nothing. Trying to get some riding time here for Penn State, and he does. He's getting 48 seconds and counting. Still That's on top of Galloway. Galloway for Nebraska. Really just trying to hang on. It would be almost a victory. You could call it for Galloway if he could just manage to lose by just decision and only give up three points, honestly. You hate to say it like that, but in the case against the number one ranked player in the country uh, and a redshirt freshman doesn't see a lot of action for the Huskers, that's a good way to look at it. If he can keep it close in this match, it's a, you know, it's a victory in itself for Nebraska. So he find themselves down 20 to six. And you look at Skylar Galloway's record, nothing to slouch at. He's 23 and seven this season already. He's 0-1 in dual matchups though. Most of his victories coming in tournament scrambles. Galloway really struggling to get anything going here. Uh, Molinaro's had him on the ground most of this match. He's now he's got his right leg, Molinaro does, and he's gonna try to, wow, this, this looks painful on the end, end of Galloway as he's gonna try to do the chicken wing and <laughs> uh, interesting leg position there for those guys. As they and again, Galloway just holding on for dear life right now. It feels like 15 seconds left to go in this first period. Lots of riding time here for Molinaro up to 208 <laughs> and counting. Four seconds and good effort there by Galloway trying to get the escape at the end, but still 2 nothing after one period. This week on BTN.com, don't miss any exciting action. Go to video.btn.com this week and check out our upcoming schedule. Go to video.btn.com for more information. So second period, and Molinaro just dominating this matchup with... Still only up 2-0 though, so kind of a win for Galloway so far in this match, although he does find himself down. You hate to look at it that way as a Nebraska fan, if, if you are one. Molinaro picks up another point for the escape there, so 3-0. You just look at that first period, Molinaro had over two minutes of riding time of the three minute period. Galloway just trying to get into Molinaro there. Molinaro's trying to push back to get on his back, and he now he does. Galloway just trying to wrestle away, he gets out of the back points onto his stomach. Two point take down there for Molinaro, another two points Gives him a five point lead, five nothing. Molinaro showing some good tactics there on Galloway. Galloway gets the escape point though, so won't get shut out here. And he just picks him up and throws him out. There's a takedown for, for Molinaro now up seven to one as an escape was given to, uh, excuse me, Galloway. Galloway in pain on the floor. Look at Molinaro just using his entire body to put leverage on Galloway and just try to force him 
as we got a break in action here. Little timeout on the Galloway floor. Galloway might be bleeding right now. And so, a little bit of break. 53 seconds left to go in this first period. You can see there on Molinaro, very athletic man, very athletic wrestler. Look at it. Look around the, the crowd, a lot of, yeah, a lot of Nebraska oh, fans. Let's see him. a good turnout for Nebraska. Unfortunately, Huskers not doing so well in this duel, but still very loyal supporters for Nebraska, loyal. As they in every sport they are. Actually had a uh, wrestling clinic for the grade school kids before this duel as we walked in about 200 grade school kids getting some lessons and they finished it off with uh, wrestling Nebraska's mascot Little Red as Little Red went down pretty quickly he sure did duel. we saw there in that replay that Galloway <laughs> just got torn taken down by Molinaro we're now back to live action here as Galloway gets a little momentum and he's going to get a takedown and he's going to get position on Molinaro here he's trying to get him going but Molinaro is too strong for him but Three points for Galloway. Now a reversal as that kind of wipes it out. 9-4, Molinaro back on top. And he shoots in on Galloway and picks him up again and throws him down. Not good for a takedown, though. You heard the Coliseum crowd, though, just cheering on the wrestlers. as They know that this is a David versus Goliath matchup, and they're cheering Galloway all the way. 17 seconds to go here in the second period. 9-4, Molinaro in an odd position trying to flip him over. Galloway had that nice spurt out of the timeout, but that's really all he's shown so far in this match as far as fighting Molinaro. And they will... We got Galloway with more blood as his nose started bleeding there a little bit. We only yep. have two seconds left to go, three seconds left to go in the second period. Probably just try to get a quick escape or reversal here or takedown if you're Molinaro and there won't be anything as that'll end the period. So a good fight there from Galloway in that period to get down to 7-4, but Molinaro shows his strength and why he's so superior with a 21-0 record but to get know, those two points back. I was mentioning the numbers earlier, Gal or Molinaro doesn't give up many points. Aside from one matchup where he gave 10, this is the most points he's given up so far this year. Just picks him up and throws him down, and that's two points there for Molinaro as he leads 11 to five as an escape was given there to Galloway earlier. And now another escape, so 11 to six Molinaro over the redshirt freshman Galloway. You're looking at this from Galloway's point of view, he's trying to keep a roster spot and really putting on a good show here and, and a good effort tonight against the number one ranked wrestler you got to think he's going to be hanging on to a spot at least for another week or so. Two points there for Molinaro as he goes back up 13-6. to six. And as this match starts to wind down with a minute to go here in the third and final period. Molinaro really has Galloway just on the floor, not doing a lot. Molinaro last year's runner-up at 149. Finished second, like we said, three-time All-American, and you gotta think he's the favorite going in to postseason here, postseason wrestling action in the country, ranked number one. You know, a big key to being so good and being able to be 21-0 is having not just uh, stamina, but having strength as well. And we've seen here tonight that although we saw Galloway have a nice burst of, of a jolt against Molinaro, he just really withstands it and, and holds his own pace. Well, Molinaro just knows how to use leverage to his advantage and just using his opponent's own momentum against him. As we see, Molinaro just <laughs> twisting and turning Galloway into pretty tough positions, but Galloway 